Hey guys, happy Monday to you. I'm popping in super quick here with a couple of short videos because we are also doing mini doll, we are also doing Disney Monday with mini doll Monday. And the first baby I have for Disney Monday is Loxley Phoenix Fox. And she is sitting here with K-14. And she is wearing her Minnie Mouse onesie with a long white sleeve onesie underneath. And then she has some pink pants with a little Minnie Mouse and pink and white socks. And she has those cute little bows in her hair. And of course, her cute little glasses. So there is Loxley Phoenix Fox for Disney Monday. And next we have Lola Stelmaria with Edward Tulane, her little bunny. And she is also wearing a Minnie Mouse onesie with a white long sleeve shirt underneath. And it has little outlines of mini and we're holding a petunia and little pink stars and then she has some gray polka dot pants and pink polka dot socks and there she is all dressed up for disney monday she also has this little pink bow in her hair <laughs> there's lola and now we have little Miss Layla Stelnova for Disney Monday. And she has her little cat Russ right there with his little green eyes. And she is wearing a pink polka dot Minnie Mouse onesie with an uh, embroidered applique mini. And she has on a long sleeve white onesie, some black leggings, and some little black and white striped socks that have a little flower on them. It is hard to see. And then she also has pigtails with little black and white bows in her hair. So there is little Layla for Disney Monday. And last we have Lata Stelluna, and she has her little lovey whiskers, little bunny, and then she has Minnie Mouse onesie that says dreams come true, and it has a little sketch of a Minnie Mouse there on a light pink background with pink trim, and then there's some little pink stars. And then she has these little pink pants. They're white with pink lines of little hearts. And it has a little pink tulle skirt over the top. And she has little pale pink and white socks on. And then she has two little pink bows in her hair. So there is our last baby for Disney Monday. My little Lata. <laughs> She's so beautiful. I love her so much. <laughs> and last is all four of my quad squad for Disney Monday, guys. There's the quad squad. All cute and all dressed up. So cute. So, of course, we have the oldest. Loxley Phoenix Fox, and then we have Lola, second oldest, third oldest is Layla, and of course the baby is Lata. So there they are guys, I hope that you enjoyed that, seeing my girls for Disney Monday. Hey there, awesome people, and thank you so much for clicking on this video and for choosing me to spend this time with. 
This is my channel, Once Upon a Nursery, and I am Tamra, head Fruit Loop, top dog, and your host, as always. And today is my tag, Mini Doll Monday, where you can put your babies on that are 19 inches or less. 19 is the cutoff, but as I have stated in the videos before, I promise I will not come to your house with a tape measure and measure your baby. If you think your baby is under that, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> so I created this tag so I could bring my babies on on Mondays. And uh, as you guys know, I still just do my own tags mostly. But um, anyways, I know that you guys know this little baby, but it has been a long time since she's been on... <laughs> little Matea Salome Tamriel. She is named after me. Tamriel. So the Tam part is after me. And I put her in this quite a while ago. And I hadn't changed her out of it, even though I've been putting the babies into um, things that are more temperature appropriate. Because it's a long dress and her legs were covered, so... And I'm limited on my clothes, so I was like, ah, eh, you know, she can stay in that. She's warm. She's with her sisters anyways, all cozied up over there in the bassinet. There's actually five babies in there. Um, she shares her bed with her sister, Reagan, her brother, Magnus, and then her other two sisters, Bindi and Maris. They all hang out in the bassinet together. So she got all warm and cozy. Oh my gosh, I love her little face. I've had her for quite a while, actually. It's funny. Oh, uh, this is her kitty. This is Vera. She is named after uh, the chick from that show, Mel's Diner. The lady on there named Vera. <laughs> the little, the wacky one. She was real dingy. Yeah. I named this kitty after Vera. Yay. Okay. So... Let me show you what I'm going to be putting on her today, and then I'll keep talking. Um, I have this little preemie Gerber onesie. And you guys saw it the other day. I was going to put it on a baby, and then I ended up not putting it on a baby. But it's yellow flowers and blue flowers and some, like, pink right there. You can see kind of pink. And this is my favorite color blue. These little hearts right here and that little stem. That's my favorite color of blue, those little hearts. So whatever color that is, that's my favorite color. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the name of it. But anyways, uh, cream colored onesie with all that stuff on top. <laughs> and then I have these little hair bows that I made. I'm going to put in her hair, fix that up some way. And then I have these little socks to put on her. And I got these at Ross and they just have some little flower buds right there that are in they're white and then they have a light pink heel and toe so put those on with this that i hope fits her this was sent by cheryl at kylela's precious ones it's a little uh hooded romper and it says happy baby and it has a giraffe on it and he's fuzzy he sticks up off of this but it's like a heathered pink color you can't really tell on camera, of course, but it's a, a very pale heather pink. And then it has this little hood with ears. And the inside of the hood is lined with, um, I want to say that those are apples, but they sort of look like olives. But I'm not sure, but it's really pretty. <laughs> Appley olives? I don't know. I don't know. But it's super cute. So uh, I'm going to try to put this on her. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But um, anyways, so uh, what was I talking about? Um, I don't know. Her being warm and cozy. Speaking of warm and cozy, um, I know that a lot of you, uh, you prefer tea over coffee. Some of you prefer coffee over tea. Some of you guys just prefer hot chocolate. <laughs> which um not really asking about the preference of your drink but how you like to take it so if you're a coffee drinker 
how do you like your coffee? Do you like it black? Do you like it with cream and sugar? Do you do complete calf, 100% caffeinated? Do you do half calf? Do you do decaf? And then if you're a tea drinker, same thing. Do you do decaffeinated tea? Or do you do full strength tea? Um, and what do you take in your tea? Do you drink it like the British people drink it with milk? Or do you put cream in it? Do you put sugar in it? Just very, very curious. And then hot chocolate too. There's another one. If you drink hot chocolate, what do you do to your hot chocolate? Do you just leave it just like it is? Or do you maybe put some whipped cream on the top? Or have you ever tried your hot chocolate with cinnamon? Or cayenne pepper? Not cayenne, chili pepper with a little bit of chili powder. Have you ever tried that before? Just curious. <laughs> Uh, it gives the, your cocoa kind of a zing. <laughs> um, it really brightens you up. I can tell you that much. It really brightens you up quite a lot. But um, I'm not sure where that comes from. Another country that's not England. Uh, Bulgaria or something. I can't remember. <laughs> but they put... Uh, oh, I think it's the Mayans, actually. I think it's the Mayans who put... Uh, chili powder in their their cocoa their hot chocolate and um yeah but I I like to I, I don't drink hot tea I don't drink tea at all really because um it gives me indigestion that's like the only thing that I eat or have anything to do with that causes me to have indigestion so I just stay away from tea <laughs> But I do love coffee, and I do drink it by the truckload at this time of year. So I don't have a tea, uh, not a tea recipe. I don't have anything to tell you about tea because I don't drink it. But I do drink hot chocolate, and I do drink coffee. So my hot chocolate, um, I like to put a, um, what you call it? A dollop of whipped cream on the top or the whipped cream that comes in the, you know, that, that will work too. Either way, either one of those. Um, and then I also like to just put a light dusting of cinnamon on the top. And I also do that with my coffee, but only in the evening. If I have decaf in the evening, oh my gosh, this fits her like perfectly. If I have decaf in the evening, I will put a dollop of whipped cream and a sprinkling of cinnamon on. And it just makes the coffee just taste so much different. And I do take my coffee with creamer. Um, <clears throat> but I'm very, very, very particular about my creamer. I, I only like the Walmart brand of creamer, the great value in the little blue cartons. Um, or, or I like the powdered creamer that is also great value brand. And it's got like a red label on it and it's just regular plain old creamer. And with that, when I do use the, uh, the powdered creamer, I do use one teaspoon of sugar in it because it does need for me I do need a little bit of sugar sugar but um yeah so I mean I don't do a lot and then like whenever I lived in England um the only coffee that they had uh I say they as in the people I lived with my family over there the only coffee that my family had over there was um you guys remember like uh what you call it sanka the um <laughs> what do you call it uh the coffee crystals you know you guys remember that stuff i mean they still have it it's not like it's you know gone or anything but it's just not real real common i found it to be very common over in england though and I guess it's because they drink more tea. I don't know. I don't know really. 
I'd have to literally ask everybody that lives there, so <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, um, and I don't particularly like Sanka coffee. Um, it's it's okay. Girl, you have lost some hair. It's been a while since her hair's been brushed. But um, I don't particularly like that kind of coffee. So you know how like they make mochas, they basically add chocolate to coffee and that's that's a mocha. Well, I made something a little different. Um, I added coffee to hot chocolate because the, the Seika just tasted so gross. Just no amount of milk and sugar could fix that. So, <laughs> so I made hot chocolate and I put just the smallest amount of those Sanka crystals in the, in it, just enough to give it a little bit of flavor. And I called them cofflets because it's coffee and chocolate. You know what I mean? So it wasn't a mocha, it was a cofflet. <laughs> but it's something that I just created while I was over there so I could actually have coffee at at home, you know. And I don't know what it is. I, I guess it's just that coffee isn't a British thing. I don't know. But I did not have a good cup of coffee at any point when I was there. Every cup of coffee that I had was so gross. I had cappuccinos. And, you know, it might be that I wasn't used to the sugar uh, because where I was at, at least, this may not go for all of England, but I was in South Yorkshire. And every place, every restaurant that I went to, and then uh, the home that I lived in, everybody used sugar crystals. They weren't like the granulated sugar that we use here. It was like brown sugar. It was like dark sugar crystals. And they were like little chunks, like little rocks. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe I just wasn't used to that. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it was, but I just know that I, I did not like their coffee at all. Not even a little bit. <laughs> so um, I do like my coffee here that I make myself. Donut shop. I do not like flavored coffees. Flavored coffees are, ugh, make my stomach hurt. I'd rather have just a regular plain old cup of donut shop. And Matea is done. She is dressed and she looks super cute. Let me hold her up. I'll put her hood up, but first I want you to see her little piggy tails I've made for her. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh gosh, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love her face. And her face, you guys, you remember those My Child dolls? Leisha at Binkies and Blankies has a My Child doll. Her face reminds me of the My Child dolls' faces. And you can have that doll on today, by the way, Leisha, if you want. <laughs> uh, she pre-records. I should have told her last week. Anyways. <laughs> So here's little Matea all dressed up for Mini Doll Monday. Let's put her hood up so that we can get the full effect on her cuteness. I want to pull her hair to the side so it doesn't get tangled in her hood. Let's pull that up. If we can. Oh, I think she might have too much hair. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, she's cute. There we go. <laughs> there we go. She's ready. <laughs> Look at those little ears. Let me move the pillow for a second. Oh. It's not going to stay up. If I didn't have her hair fixed, it would stay up. But it's not going to stay up. That's okay. That is all right. All right, so hot beverage, tea, coffee, or hot chocolate. How do you take it? Um, you don't have to choose which one. You can tell me how you take all of them or whichever one you drink, you know. Like I said, I'm not really asking about what it is that you drink, but how do you take that drink? How do you take it? What do you put into it? 
What are some different things that you do to make your stuff more flavored? I'm going to go ahead and put her hood down. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, she's just so sweet. Where is Vera? There she is. Okay, guys, it looks like we are done once again with our weekend and Monday block of videos. And I hope that you enjoyed our little special because uh, we are not only doing Mini Doll Monday, but we are also doing Disney Monday. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing my quads and seeing what they're dressed in. They've actually been dressed in those outfits for about three weeks now, waiting for to be on. But uh, mom kept getting new babies, so they had to wait because other babies had to have their little name reveal. So <laughs> anyways, all right, let me see if I can get her... I like her little bangs to kind of come down like that. There we go. Something like that. Something like that. No. <laughs> no, let's not and say we did. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today while I change Little Miss Matea for Mini Doll Monday. And I always love when you guys come hang out with me. And talk about our silly silly to serious topics depending on what the day is and what we're talking about but anyways please consider hitting that like and subscribe if you haven't hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time i upload a video comments and sharing are always welcome and i love also when you do my tags over on instagram and you can see pictures of my babies over there as well i will leave a link to my instagram in my description and there will also be a short video of her available here on YouTube. So be on the lookout for that. So that being said, from me and Matea, we love you guys so much. And we will see you Friday, guys. Bye!